Alrighty, I've been asked to do a video on different ferrocium rods or fire strikers. I've got a variety here, as hopefully you can see. I'm going to pick them up one at a time to show you. You got your normal, just your ferrocium rod. You can get this, $9, I think it was at Walmart or Academy. It comes with a little striker. And... The way you use these is pretty simple. You want to have the uh, edge of a striker or knife, back of a knife, 90 degree, a little sharp edge there. Hold it firmly with one hand, take a striker, and just push hard. And you want to put that at your tinder or bird's nest or char cloth. Very simple, easy to use. And they come in many forms, many shapes, many sizes. Different companies make different things. Uh, this is one I keep. <clears throat> I keep one on my key ring. I always have one on me. I have one. I keep on a little hank of paracord. Keep them together. Throw up my hiking bag, my camping bag, or whatever. This is one that I keep on. Oh, and a little mini survival kit that I added to this. Mini survival kit is it's a lifeline, eight bucks at Academy. That's your basic stuff. I added stuff to it. I added, you know, a, a fire steel. I added my big compass. I can go through this later, but just, I keep this and in, in that. And you got different kinds that work different ways. This is the one I got off of Bud K. Uh, doesn't, I can't tell the brand name but it's just a little cheap $9 one from Bud K I don't usually use the blade of my knife to use my fire starter except with this one because I bought this for that very reason I'm not going to use this for whittling or cut, gutting an animal or anything I use this strictly for my fire steel it comes with a fire steel in the package just pull that out I added the paracord to it because I like the bright yellow colors I drop it on the green grass, you know, I'll be able to see it. And the same way with this, you can use the blade of the knife and just strike it. You can use the back of the knife, however you want to do it. Most knives you have will have a little 90 degree angle on the back and you can use that. Some blades I have have a notch on the back of the knife made for that purpose. I'll show that to you in a minute. Here's another one I bought. I guess I got it from Bud K. It's the compass. It's supposed to have a compass on it. It's got a whistle. I put the paracord on it because I like the bright colors. Plus, I always having like a little piece of paracord with me. Oh, and, oh it just broke on me. <clears throat> well, it's supposed to be in here nice and snug. There's an O-ring to keep all the water out of the little holder here. It's got a striker. You can see it. A little striker right there. I don't really like the way it works. I mean you can you can get a little bit of a spark out of it. So even with this I would use the back of a knife or even a blade of one I, I use for that. It's good you can't really go wrong with these. I mean I could get rid of this because this the compass doesn't work. Don't need a whistle. Got plenty of whistles on me. And I don't care for that striker. I just keep it together because it's handy. <clears throat> this is one I got. You can buy these in a little, they'll have like a little wooden or bone handle and compass on the end. Somebody will make them at home. It's a fair seam rod with a little thing of magnesium. And what you do on something like this is you would shave magnesium pile of it so you can see it. And with something like this, what you would do, 
you can see the pile of magnesium here. But what you would do is you'd take your fire starter, get some, you get some uh, sparks on that, and it burns magnesium, and you put it in a little bird's nest or put it on some, something that'll burn, cotton or char cloth or whatever. It helps make a fire. Burns pretty hot for a few seconds, and but yeah, you just scrape that magnesium off, especially if it's wet, you can do that. Help get some wet leaves started. The handle broke on mine. I just throw this in one of my packs and always have it handy. All right, another one. I've got this. It's the Bear Grylls Gerber Multi Tool. It's an all right tool. It's not the best. I don't really carry this with me everywhere I go. Uh, let's see. It's got a Got a little wood saw on it. Got a blade. I'm not, I'm not gonna review this, but this is Bear Grylls one. But it does come with fair seam rod. And again, once again, you can use the back of the blade on the multi-tool and just scrape it. Get you some uh, get you some fire going. It's got some uh, magnesium or something. I don't know why it does this, but when you strike this one, they fizzle off and spark lasts a little bit longer. But it's it's a good fire steel. I've used it several times. I just keep this in one of my camping bags usually because like you know it's got pliers and knives and everything in it. Alright another one I've got Celeste Stroud. This is uh, he's got the Mountaineer and the Arctic, and I don't know what this one's called. This is just a little folding blade, Les Stroud. Camillus makes it. It's Les Stroud edition. If you don't know who Les Stroud is, he's a you know guy in Survivor Man. But this knife comes with fire steel, small little fire steel, and this blade is made. If you can see, it's got a notch right here, and that is put on there for fire steel. So you don't use the blade. Doesn't work all the time as good as I'd like. Of course, then again, take another blade you got. You can always do it that way. If you have to use one of your blades, I always do it right up here, right close to the edge at the bottom. So you're not really going to, I mean, you could damage it and burn it or whatever, but... This is not going to affect your whittling or skinning an eye, uh, a deer or skinning a squirrel or whatever. So I'll just I'll use that right there. Puts off a good spark. Another little small fire steel. It's handy. Fits in the handle. You just close the blade. Now you've got a blade and a fire steel. All right, the last one I'm going to review is the magnesium bar ones. Not a big fan of these. Don't really care for them much. I've got a few. This is made by Coleman. You got to be careful when you buy these because, like this one here, this is not real magnesium, or I don't know what it's made out of. But you're supposed to be able to scrape that. If you see my scrape marks there, you're supposed to be able to scrape the magnesium just like you did on this one. Make a pile, strike it, and start a fire. This works really good. Coleman makes a good one. It's uh, magnesium works. You scrape it off real good, real easy with a blade. Strike it. It's good. Got a good striker on it. I like this brand. Don't care for this style, but if I had to carry one, it's going to be this one, Coleman. This is a cheap one I got. I guess Walmart or Academy. No brand names. Made in China. Comes with a little blade like this. You're supposed to be able to scrape magnesium off with. And it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work good. You have to use a blade. This magnesium I've scraped, the one I had just like it, and made a nice pile, put a spark right in the middle of it. It wouldn't hold the spark. It wouldn't catch. It wouldn't do anything. So these are crap. But what I did do, since I have one of these, this is something I do just because I do. This is my belt. I wear it every day. What I've done, I 
if I have. Give me just a second. I have used electrical tape. And I have taped. What I've done is I have taken the bar out of this. You throw this on the concrete a couple of times, hit this corner here, this will finally jar out, and you, you've got a little rod. This is a very good fair sim rod. It strikes real good, gives you good little good sparks, compact, doesn't weigh anything. And like I said, I will I tape it to the inside of my belt. I got some jute twine in there too, I keep. But I'll just tape it to the inside of my belt. And I've got a razor blade for striking if I need to. And I've got some cotton all taped in here. So I've got, if I'm out here, nothing else, I've got a way to make a small fire. Well, that's pretty much as far, as far as I've got is uh, fire steels that I've got. How to use it, every one of them is exactly the same. Take your blade, get your fire steel, scrape it, and you've got sparks. What you'll have is like a small bird's nest or something about to fit in just about the size of your hand. Char cloth, you spark it on there, and you got a fire. I'll make another video on actually how to do the bird's nest and spark into it with char cloth or char moss, char dust, whatever you have to make a fire. <clears throat> I've got a video on how to make char moss that I've got to publish and I've got a video on using a palmetto for a bird's nest and tinder for a uh, fire. I will actually go into Striking that fire into the bird's nest, getting it going, blowing it into flame, and show you step one all the way to the end. All right, uh, I guess that's it. That's all I've got. Um, oh, if I didn't say, this is Primus or Primus. You can get this at Walmart or Academy, nine dollars. And that's probably the one I use the most is the one the, this style that I keep on my belt. Thank you for watching, and check out my other videos and videos up as coming soon.